Hey, if you're an artist or a creative, this video is definitely for you. But if not, you should still watch it because maybe you learned something new about grant writing and you'll be applying for one sometime soon. My name is Junior, I'm an artist. I do paintings, I do murals, I do digital art, and from time to time, I work with wood. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my process on how I apply for grants and how you can get them. But before we get to the nitty gritty, I just want you to know I'm no expert. But over the past three years, I've applied to 30 grants and I was awarded, drum roll please, four. But before you exit the video, I bet some of you are like, four? That's it out of 30? Do you know how hard it was to get those four grants? How many long hours, how many nights, how many sleepless nights that I had to go through to get those? It's no easy task. But here's the thing, when you get one, it's like the best feeling in the world. Oh my God, I'm a little nervous about this. All right, let's see, let's see. I just got the email. Dear Junior, congratulations. We are pleased to inform you that you've been, you got the Beyond Open Application, babe, I got the grant. I got the grant, oh my God. Let me see. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, yo, I got the freaking grant. Oh my goodness, this is insane. My latest one, I just got $20,000. Yep, that's right, $20,000. So let me walk you through my process on how I find these grants, learn about them, and the hardest part, applying to them. Now I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the art community is strong. We're lucky enough to have organizations like the Arts and Science Council, the Knights Foundation, Beyond Open Grants, and the city of Charlotte itself are supporting creatives like me. Now, there are a lot of national organizations that give out grants. Some of these are CallForEntry.org, National Endowments for the Arts, and the Sustainable Arts Foundation. And there's so many more that you can look up online. I suggest that you find one that you really like and get on their newsletter. They send out newsletters every month and let you know if they have one out for you to apply for. You can also get close to your art community through social platforms like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and others. A lot of the artists that I know are always looking to support one another. So if an opportunity for a grant comes up, somebody's gonna post about it and let everybody know. And that's how it should be. So let's jump to the part where you get your hands on a grant and you're about to apply. That's when the real work begins. First things first, read through the application thoroughly. I'm talking about two to three times. If you have to read it 10 times, do it because you wanna understand exactly what they're looking for. You're gonna wanna look for specific details. One of those specific details is dates. Some of these grants require you to complete a project in a certain amount of time frame. Now, if you're not ready to complete your project in that time frame, don't bother to apply because you just don't qualify. Many of these organizations wanna see that you're semi-established. They wanna see that you have your EIN number, they wanna see sales tax ID, and they wanna see that you've been operating under this business entity for a certain amount of years. Now, not all of them require it, just some. And if you don't fall within this criteria of what they're looking for, don't waste your time because this is something that they really, really look into. Look for how much money these grants are offering. Some grants aren't worth it, but some grants are. It just depends on your project. Now, sometimes you may just apply for this grant for a portion of the funds, and that is okay. Just be sure that when you are letting them know that you're acquiring other funds, let them know exactly where and how you're gonna get them. I actually lost a grant like this. My project was a total of $5,000 and I only asked for $3,000. I didn't bother to let them know where I was gonna get to $2,000 from. I didn't think I needed to and my application was denied. I highly suggest you read the question more than once to understand what they're looking for. And in your response, make sure you get detailed. Detailed as possible. They wanna know everything. Just imagine yourself reading someone else's proposal. You wanna visualize everything that they're writing. Now this takes a lot of rereading your answers. I cannot say this enough. Reread your answers. Have someone else read your answers and let your defenses down and take their advice because a lot of the times they're gonna be like, Junior, I don't even understand what you're trying to say. It honestly makes no sense. Now, some of you are bad writers, like me, but now we have AI. And I know some of you are like, AI, it's replicating our work. We don't need it. It's destroying the world. I'm not asking you to use it like that. Just use it to fix any grammar issues. I'm telling you, ChatGPT can be your best friend if you know how to use it right. 
99.9% of these grant applications are gonna ask you for work samples. This is extremely important because they actually wanna see that you are a practicing artist. Everyone has their own way in presenting their images, but just make sure that whatever you're presenting is quality. And when I say quality, I mean no distorted images, make sure you crop out any unwanted edges, and when you're taking pictures of your work, make sure that your lighting is right. I always say natural light is the best light. I use Photoshop and Lightroom to edit my images, but you can also use your phone's internal editing software to do the same exact thing. Keep this in mind. These images are representing you and your work, so they should look very, very good. Now, some of these organizations host office hours, and I highly recommend you utilize them because you can ask any questions that you have, and hopefully they can answer it. The more you apply to grants, the better you get. It's as simple as that. Don't be discouraged if you apply for one and you didn't get your first one, your second one, or your third one, because I'm telling you, it's gonna be soon where you get that $50,000 grant that you've been looking for. I hope this video helped you to become more equipped in applying to grants, or you learned something new. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more like it. Hope I catch you in the next one. Peace.